coming from my own experience when it comes to getting involved in activism is you, you be prepared to sometimes even be misunderstood or even rejected by sometimes fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I've experienced this in my own activism when it comes to the Central America issue, that there are some uh, brothers and sisters in Christ who have different views and sometimes um, um, have a different understanding of things. Are Sometimes they uh, are not well-versed in the subject, and then they might resent you for what you're getting yourselves involved in. They might misunderstand what you're doing, and it's unfortunate, but be prepared for it. Within our my own church, I have experienced rejection by members of our church for what I have um, been called to to get involved with the Central America issue, um, the refugees. Um, I have been called a conspiracy theorist um, by some members of our church, and um, wow. because I talk about the root causes of why people flee countries like Honduras, and um, you know, what are the root causes of, of what's going on? And because I talked about, for example, government repression from the Honduras government and talking about the U.S. role in that, um, the U.S. military to Honduras, that gets um, taken very in a bad way by some um, people that may lean on the more conservative side of politics within our church, and they resent it. And... Um, have come up to me and mocked me in front of other people when I'm talking about them and called me a conspiracy theorist and said that I just spent all my life going on conspiracy websites was, is not even true. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. So um, that's why I want to um, warn other people who are Christians, if they are called to a, um, any form of social activism that might even be remotely controversial, if it might st- step on some, toes um that you know sometimes people who also identify brothers and sisters of christ your brothers and sisters of christ may misunderstand you and reject you and tell you that you're wasting your time and Mm. and call you names and it's unfortunate but it's happened to me and that's where we have to pray for reconciliation Mm. with that yeah, that's such a such a tragedy. I'm I'm so I you know it, it's you, troubling to hear that, Thank but you. Um, you know it like it reminds me of, um, you know of what we're reading. You know, first of all, in First Corinthians, um, especially about unity. Um, but I, I think that part of the problem today, um, mm-hmm. you know, like at least like post um, Y two K modernity is yeah. that uh, we know more about politics than we than we know about our creator. Yes, that's true. Y- you know, and, and it's just, it, and it's led us down in just an awful, awful oh, rabbit yeah. hole. We're <laughs> saturated with political controversies and drama. And, and it's, it, it's so saturated us that it's distracted us from knowing more about God. Absolutely. Right. And so part of the problem with what you're mentioning about, um, you know, maybe people um, demeaning you or making fun of you or whatever it is. um, I think that this gets at a, at a whole nother issue because uh, for example, you know, there's um, there's, there's a brother who struggles with, um, with alcohol addiction. Yeah. At church. And so he's been sober uh, for 30 days, 30 days. And he's, he's in church now. He's trying to do the right thing. And now he's been sober 60 days and he's still in church and he's volunteering. He's doing his thing. Now he's been sober 90 days. And so he's feeling really great and he wants to share it with his buddies. Um, and, and, and so he does, he, he tells his friends about how, how great Christ has been in his life. And it just so happens that he's at, he's at like at some birthday party with, with family or whatever. Right. And he has one drink, Oops, and then he has another drink, and and before he knows it, you know he's he's um, uh, you know whatever it is, right? Passed out on a sidewalk somewhere, and sadly, because of of exactly what you described, he won't go back to church because he you know, he he feels this person feels like he can't he doesn't belong. They're gonna 
demean him. They're going to make fun of him. They're going to put him on punishment or whatever it is. And so his, his own friends, his own little buddy group would say, what are you going to do going back to church or, you know, to those Christians if they're just going to criticize you? Come over here. Come sit at the bar. N- no judgment. Free of criticism. We're all hanging out anyway. And, and so the problem is that there's more unity in that group. In, in the instead of a church on save people yeah. Yeah. the church yeah. that's so sad so this has to change yes right and so this is where we come in each one of us being a different part of one body you know finding unity right yeah. much like we read in in the 12th chapter of the um of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, just as one body, he says in verse 12, just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Christ. And so it must be within, at least at the very least, our community. Amen. So that we can affect change at the larger scale Amen. than within our state, within our country, within these regions. Amen. Amen.